Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Raul. In this video, we're gonna upgrade the use on key press hook that we created last week. If you missed the video, link will be in the description below and also in the card at the top corner. This hook is gonna allow us to add multiple keys. So we're gonna add an array of uh, keys and if all the, the keys in that array are pressed, then we will call the callback function. In the previous version, we just got one key, and if that key was pressed, we would call the callback function. Now we're gonna upgrade it so it takes uh, takes multiple multiple keys. So let's create a new folder. So use multiple key press dot js. We're gonna again import use effect from React and we're gonna export a const called use multiple key press. Great. This is gonna receive first the callback function and then the target keys this time, which is gonna be an array. Let's also add it to our app.js. So imported use multiple key press from the hooks okay and instead of having these I'm gonna comment them out we're gonna do use multiple key press we're again gonna use that submit handler from before which is just gonna add an element to our list and then we're gonna pass an array of, uh, of keys. So first let's do enter and also let's do shift. So now we wait for enter and shift to be pressed at the same time. Now if we go here and press enter, nothing happens anymore. Great, so let's build this, let's build this hook. First, we need to add more event listener than last time. So now we need to add an event listener for key down, which is gonna call a key down handler, and also an event listener for key up, which is gonna fire when we release the key. Then in the return of this use effect, we're gonna do window dot remove event listener the key up from the key up handler and also the key down event good okay so it just tells us that these functions are not defined let's define them so we have const key down handler an arrow function and also const key up handler again an arrow function they are both gonna receive the event good now we are gonna create before those an array called current pressed Actually, we're gonna make it, uh, let's make it a let. Good, so in the key down handler, we're gonna check if the key that we are currently pressing is already in the current pressed array. If not, then we are going to add that key to the array because if we, uh, have a key and keep it pressed for multiple seconds, then the key down event will fire multiple times. So let's check that. If current, we're gonna do not current press dot find. And here we have to add a, a function that matches to our element. So we get the element from the array 
and check if the element is equal to the event dot key if they are they are equal this will return the the first element uh, which matches if not then this find will return undefined and if it returns undefined then this expression will be falseish and it we will uh, it will go into the if now here we can do current pressed dot push and add the event dot key to that that array so this for now this is it with the actually let's let's do something more let's create the we're first gonna check if the current press dot length so the number of keys that are pressed at the moment is equal to the target keys dot length if if the number of key pressed are the and the number of target key, targeted keys are the same we're gonna have a if and we're gonna check if check pressed keys and we're gonna check if it returns zero you're gonna see why that happens because we're gonna return zero when the keys match and if the keys uh, match we're gonna call that callback function but we uh, still don't have that function created I'm gonna just create it so it doesn't throw an error so it's check keys pressed okay so something like this first before we handle the check keys pressed let's also do the key up handler so in the key up handler we're just gonna do the current pressed is gonna be equal to current press dot filter and we're gonna get the element and we're gonna return all the elements that are not equal to the event that are not equal so when we release a key the event will be fired for key up and we uh, with filter we're gonna remove that key from the array of uh, currently pressed keys okay so now let's check the if the current pressed keys are the ones that are target so we're gonna create a counter here which is gonna be the target keys dot length and uh, then after this we're gonna go for the we're gonna do a for each loop we're gonna go through each of the targeted keys for for each okay I have a, and we're gonna get the element now if uh, here we also have to do a check similarly to to the one uh, that we have here so we're gonna check if the current press we're gonna do current press dot find we're gonna get the element and we're gonna return the element which is equal to the the wait we don't we can't use element here so we're gonna just say key so we're gonna do the if key is equal to the element maybe i should do a more a better naming convention here so we're gonna do target key and here we're gonna do pressed key so let's try this again so we're gonna have target key which is equal to the pressed key okay so what we do here is if we we check if the current uh, for each of the 
targeted keys we have we check if it is found in the currently pressed array if it is found then we do a counter and we decrement the counter by one now at the end we're gonna return that counter and if that counter is zero because we checked it right here if that counter is zero we're gonna call our callback function let's see if that actually works because i didn't check anything until now so here we called it with an array with shift and enter so let's check what happens now i just press enter it doesn't work and if i press shift enter it adds it great so this works like a charm also if you want to just have one custom hook not two you can also use this for one key so add one press enter and it works so this can also can actually remove the on key press hook but you have to write a little bit more code to get everything done okay this was it so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it leave a comment with your opinion on or maybe suggestions that you want me to do on other react topics or anything uh, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to also subscribe to the channel it would really help me a lot and uh, come hang out with me on twitter chat and everything link will be in the description below so Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day.